Hey guys, Anime Lover 83s here with a Yu-Gi-Oh news. Um, today I'm doing some coverage on a lot of new stuff that's coming out. Um, I'm just going to be just blowing, displaying some of the pictures and um, giving you um, the info as I narrate it out and stuff. So um, yeah, so here we are. All right, the first thing we've got is a. Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector's Tin. Um, the two tins fe featuring Heroic Champion Excalibur and Evil Sword Dalka. Uh, the first tin featuring the Heroic Champion Excalibur will contain Blizzard Princess, Wind Up Rabbit, Wind Up Zen Mains, and Evil Sword Lagia. Yeah, I I've heard that, that Evil Sword Lagia is a pretty good card. It's kind of like a um, solemn warning in one. And as for the second tin, um, is Evil Sword Dalka, the secret rare, uh, Genix Neutron, Scrap Dragon, Dark Highlander, and another Wind Up Zen Main. So either way, you'll get a Wind Up Zen Mains, and those are for are due for release in August 14th. If you haven't known that already, I'm um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about the tins. Um, these tip pictures were provided by Alter Reality Games, so um, they have a Facebook page. I'll leave some links in the description for sources and stuff. So yeah. Next, we have the Seal of Ori Kalkos. Ooh, ah. Um, Konami provided this special picture as of, um, well, not Konami, but they've given us a mock version of the card. Uh, it's real, 100% legit. It's going to be coming out as one of the um, cards, the card that has never been before released on Earth. The promos for the Yugi, Yugi's World Legendary Collection. Um... Uh, so this picture here, it it says this is just a display mock-up version of the card. We tried writing the text of the card, but the previous mock-up was disintegrated by such awesome power. Only a true, specially prepared Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game can hold the power of the Seal of Orichalcos. The entire world will note will see the true power of the Seal of Orichalcos when Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi's World releases on October 2nd. So that's what the card description says, and it's a... Uh, um, <coughs> Sorry about that. That's a limited edition card, and yeah, that's that's what's gonna come out. That's the um, card that hasn't been released ever. That's gonna come out in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection Yu-Gi's World, and that's what the card says. Um, uh, here's some pictures on what the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection Three Yu-Gi-Oh! World is gonna look like. As you can see on the right, there's a Seal of Orichalcos, and that's kind of like the box thing. Um, with the promo cards and the booster packs, all the sort of like that. It's not going to be a binder like it was before. Um, was kind of hope I was kind of hoping for that, but apparently not. And this is the game board they have on the left, featuring Yugi or Yami Yugi. And it's more of a game board. It's not a mat. Like, um, yeah. So it's just a game board instead of a mat. That's why it's more, more sort of durable. Um, so yeah. And on the top shelf, that's just a Return of the Duelist booster boxes. And on the bottom, we'll get to that later. So that's the Yu Yu. That's the Legendary Collection Three Yugi's World, and I provided some updates on the Yugi's World. Um, it's a collector set. It's going to be released October second, as I had previously mentioned, and it's going to be thirty dollars. The Seal of Orichalcos, the most long-awaited card in the history of dueling, is finally here. During Season 4, Waking the Dragons of, Yu -Gi of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series, this ultimate weapon of ancient Atlantis cut a path right through our heroes and became legendary as one of the most powerful cards in existence. The Seal of Orichalcos is a field spell card with three key powers. It gives all your monsters 500 attack points, highly resistant to removal from the field, and allows your stronger monsters to protect your weaker ones. Each box of Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World comes with a Seal of Orichalcos of your very own, with all three of these powers, and it's 100% tournament legal. Um, so yeah, that's part of the description, and I'm going to continue it. The Classic Series Mega Packs. One of the most popular items in last year's Legendary Collection was the new concept of Mega Packs, bursting with three foil cards per pack from a gigantic Mega Set. This time we're giving Classic Yu-Gi-Oh! the Mega Pack treatment. Each copy of Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi's World comes with five nine card mega packs each with one secret rare one ultra rare one super rare one rare and five commons per pack <coughs> sorry about that um from the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh tcg booster set ever created <coughs> highlights of this 306 card mega set mega mega set include over 100 of Yu-Gi's most famous monsters spells and trap cards Famous cards from some of Yugi's most notorious enemies, including Pegasus, Bakora, 
uh, Raphael, and Merrick. Secret rare versions of legendary cards that have stood out, that have stood the test of time, like Mirror Force, yay! Solemn Judgment, yay! Seven Tools of the Bandit, Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, Dark Hole, and Black Hole Urn of Heaven. Secret rare versions of many recruiter monsters like Mystic Tomato, Giant Rat, UFO Turtle, Shining Angel, Mother Grizzly, Flying Kamakiri Number 1, and Pyramid Turtle. Ultra rare versions of almost every Gravekeeper's card. Woo. Foil up your deck with foil versions of Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Bottomless Trap Hole, Upstart Goblin, Chaos Sorcerer, Drag Down to the Grave, Reckless Greed, and Regeke Break. Easy to get common versions of popular tournament level classic era and classic themed cards, including Chain Disappearance, Gold Sarcophagus, Zala Morning, and Soul Taker. <coughs> Many cards from a decade ago reprinted in their own original rarities. If you were too young to collect these cards when they first came out, now you'll have a second chance to get super rare Reinforcement of the Army, an ultra rare Mor Morphing Jar or Royal Decree, or even a secret Dark Magician Girl. Yay! The biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG booster set ever, over 300 cards. 306 cards to be exact. Intimidated by the set size, but looking to foil out your deck? Fear not, these packs are designed so that even popular tournament level cards will be easier to pull. All cards printed with updated text that's easier to understand. Extra bonus cards and tokens. In addition to the five mega packs and the skill of Orichalcos, each box comes with six additional ultra rare cards. A new token depicting the Emissary of Darkness. The token monster summoned by Gore's the Emissary of Darkness, featuring special art showing the Emissary as it appears in the Yu-Gi-Oh! R manga series. Ooh, that's kind of... It's kind of cool. Uh, two new tokens depicting the cuddly Karibo, two different art versions of one of Yugi's most iconic monsters, three monsters celebrating three of <coughs> of Yugi's most fearsome foes, Bakura's Dark Necrofear, Raphael's Guardian Yados, and the Big Five's Five-Headed Dragon, which I already have. A uh, collapsible hard surface game board. It's not just a game mat, it's a hard surface game board. This fold up double sided game board gives you a durable and portable way to duel, a duel and duel in style. First of its kind to release anywhere in the world, the game board folds up easily and fits in your backpack or binder and folds out to give you a durable, flat, steady surface to duel on. One side features Yugi, King of Games, and the other emblazoned with the image of the Ori Kalkos. Become the tenth disciple of the Orichalcos. You watch as nine duels use the seal of Orichalcos, Gurumi, Mai, Alistair, Raphael, Valen, Weevil, Rex, Darts, and even Yugi himself. Now, after ten years of Yu-Gi-Oh! in North America, a tenth duelist will unleash the power of the seal, and that tenth duelist will be you. Do not deny the power of the Orichalcos. Each Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi-Oh's World will contain 52 cards, one ultra-rare Seal of Orichalcos, one ultra-rare Five-Headed Dragon, one ultra-rare Dark Necrofear, one ultra-rare Guardian Yados, three ultra-rare tokens, two with Karibo, one with Emissary of Darkness, one collapsible hard-packed double-sided game board, five Legendary Collection 3 Mega Packs, each with one secret rare, one ultra-rare, one super-rare, one rare, and five commons per pack, and the grand total per box, five secret rares, nine ultra-rares, three ultra-rare tokens, five super-rares, five rares, 25 commons, plus the collapsible double-sided game board. So yeah, that's all going to be up, um, coming to you. October 2nd, and here's just another pic of that, and all that stuff, see how that little, the back side of the Orichalcos is, yeah, pretty awesome if you ask me. Okay, so as you can see here, we got the Legendary Collection 3, and below you can see the Abyss Rising Booster Packs, and a special edition to the right. Alright, so now I'm covering Abyss Rising. The cover card for Abyss Rising is number C32, Shark Drake Vice. And this set will contain um, a new archetype, Architect of Monsters, um, Heraldic Beasts, and Mermails. And the release date for those is no November 2012. And the special edition will contain one of two variant super rare cards, as you can see. Uh, well, you can't really see that, but the special edition's to the right. It's that green-yellow thing, and the booster pack is just to the left of it with the Abyss Rising. With the cover, with the person, I don't know who that is because I don't watch Zexel. Moving on to the next matter at hand, we got the Return of the Duelist Special Edition coming right after the um, Return of the Duelist Booster Pack. 
the description. Konami is proud to bring you Return of the Duelist Special Edition. Special editions give Duelist a great value, combining three packs of the latest booster release with one of two hard to find varying cards. In addition to the three packs of Return of the Duelist, each special edition box <coughs> contains a special champion le championship level foil card, sure to make the, a Duelist lucky day. Great value and excellent condition. An excellent content, excuse me, will make this a must-have for players of all skill levels. Duelists will want to take advantage of the second offering of Return of the Duelists because many cards in this set can be combined with past and upcoming releases. Abyss Rising, coming in November, as I previously said, will include cards designed to work with Return of the Duelists to give Duelists a boost, and the release date for the special edition is September 25th of this year. It's two days after my birthday. All right. Next matter at hand, we got the Water Structure deck. Um, not much has been said about this set, but I've been reading from the Yugi, um, from the OCG uh, Yu-Gi-Oh news that this is the Roar of the Sea Emperor, and the cover card is uh, Sea Emperor Dragon Poseidra. And um, this deck contains Sea Emperor cards, about five of them, and a bunch of water support cards. So yeah, not much about that. Um, the release date hasn't been said yet, so. Yeah, be, f be sure to look for that. Next pick, we have the next wave of tins. So we got a Secret Rare Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo and a Secret Rare Hirachisun Dragon Overlord of Hyolopolis. Each of these tins will contain three Order of Chaoses and two Galactic Overlords along with, fo along with four excuse me, Super Rare cards, which haven't been confirmed yet. Um, and the release date for these tins, as you can see here, will be um, November 2012. So yeah, look forward to that. And the next thing I just wanted to leave a shout out to, but I don't have a picture for, is Duelist Pack Kato. Um, I guess he's from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel anime, I guess. Um, this pack is going to be released, I looked in the OCG, it's going to be released in September 22nd, I believe. And for us, there hasn't been any announcement about it or any release date, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come out. So yeah, look forward to that. So that's all the Yu-Gi-Oh! news we've got. I've covered pretty much everything and probably won't make a Yu-Gi-Oh! news until something new shows up that, I'm, that I've been aware of. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and look forward to this stuff. And peace out.